All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to create a real quick to-do list in KOWP. And before you close this and be like, okay, you've already done this. Yes, I have, but it used Tasker. It was a lot more involved. This is much faster, quicker, and it uses just two things, KOWP and any text editor app that you may have. The text editor app that I use is something called Simple Text Editor. It's for free on the Play Store. So go have a look at that or any text editor app should work just fine. Let me show you how it works. If I click this little plus button, um, recall I had those two items on my list on KOWP so maybe I'm going to add charcoal to my list of things to get or whatever and uh, maybe I need a lighter because I need a lighter to light my charcoal right so I can cook some wings and drink some beer so let's save this let's go back to the home screen and now those two items are showing now you do not have to create a numbered list I can just come to this next item and I can type in one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I can type in A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever I want to type in. If I save this, I go back to the home screen and those two items pop up. So let me show you how to do this in KOWP. Again, you need, well, let me show you this first. Let me go to that app, Simple Text Editor. And what you may notice is that it's opening up that file I was just editing. So I could re-edit it right inside of here. Well, some things, it, should you decide to use this app, underneath settings for that app, I have it set to open the last file. So whatever file I edited last, it's going to open that up. Now, other things inside of here, I'm not messing around with any of that junk. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to create a new file, and I'm going to call, I'm just going to type in, this is the tutorial. Okay, and I think I've already done this just to make sure everything works, but I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to save as, and I'm going to call this tutorial.text. Now, it may say, do I want to overwrite? Um, okay, so I think I did this while ago, but nonetheless, here we go. We got tutorial.txt, and we have our file path here. This is very important to note. So I'm going to go back to the home screen. Let me go ahead and show you something else. If you have multiple text files that you're going to edit, if I come back here to add something, it's going to open up the recent file. Well, you may say, okay, if I edit this, it's not going to change my list of stuff that I just did. And you're exactly right. So if I come down here to open and I go to my to-do list, if I open up that file now, I can come in here and add some new stuff. So if I save this and go back to the home screen, now my new stuff is showing. So we can quickly browse back and forth between our files if we want to edit list or whatever we want to do for our custom live wallpaper. So inside of KOWP, what I'm going to do here, um, don't worry about that right now, I got a cool thing to do with Notepad and Lyrics coming soon as well. It's pretty sweet. But our Notepad to-do list is this one that we see right here. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm just going to uh, hide this and we're going to create a brand new one from scratch. So I'm going to go to plus, I'm going to create a component, and I'm going to use a blank one, rename it. And inside of this notepad toot uh, component that I've created here, I'm going to add a stack group. And inside of that stack group, which is inside of that component, I'm going to add a font icon. And I'm going to do the same font icon you saw a moment ago. So for my font icon, if I just come up here and search, I love this new feature in KOWP. Uh, add and I'm just going to use the same one. So playlist add is what I have there. Now if I touch this thing, if I touch this icon, I want to open my simple text editor app. So I'm going to go to launch app and I'm going to select simple text editor. So there we go. We have simple text editor set to launch and now what we want to do inside of here is we want to add a text item and this text item is going to show up right beneath it. Let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and then inside of here, for this text item, we want to use the WG function. So inside of that WG function, if you go down to the very bottom, we want to use this one right here. We can read any text file, and this raw feature, let me go ahead and click on that, this is going to show it in its raw form, if that makes any sense. Uh, there's going to be no regex involved in this tutorial. The only thing I have to come in here and do is change the file path. And just in case you don't know what your file path is, I'm going to show you one way. I use SD Made. So let me show that to you real quick. So I'm inside of SD Made and I'm looking for that tutorial text file that I have right here. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on Copy Path. Notice that flash right there. It's copying that path name. Now I'm going to go back in KOWP and paste that into that code. So what we would do here is we would do File, uh, 
colon, back, double backslash, and then we would paste that file path into there. And notice what it's already showing. This is the tutorial. Recall a moment ago, that's exactly what I typed into that new file that I call tutorial.txt. So if I check this, save it, go back to the home screen, now I have this showing up. Now what I should be able to do is click on plus. This will open that app. Now recall, whoops, recall it's going to open the previous file that I had. So I can just quickly go to open. I can scroll down to my tutorial.txt. And now it's going to open this one up. And now let's add some more stuff. So um, this is some more stuff. Notice I have a little enter there. So if we save this and we exit out of here, it should give me a new line that says this is some more stuff. You may notice everything shifted over. So probably it would be a good idea to take this component and maybe put it in the top left corner uh, as your position. But nonetheless, as you can see, we're quickly editing this file, um, whether it be a to-do list or whatever. And like I said, I have something really cool coming up with lyrics. Uh, stay tuned for that. But now if I click on this plus one more time, get out of the way. If I click on that plus one more time, it's going to open that last file. And this was the last file that I did edit. So as you can see, that works quite nice. It's very fast, minimum on the resources, and you don't have to use a lot of crazy coding like we had to do in Tasker when I did a to-do list a while back. And there you have it. That's a quick to-do list using just KOWP and a basic text editing app. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.